we have a prepaid call from an inmate at State Prison, California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using. So where you go by? I go by Big Blue. What's your nationality? I'm black. Were you ever part of any gangs, groups, or organizations? Yeah, I used to be from East Coast 76th Street. Um, and where is that specifically located at? South Central Los Angeles. Okay, um, can you elaborate on your upbringing as a child and what made you join East Coast Crip? Yeah, yeah, um, uh, basically, uh, I don't have a father figure in my life, and I, I need someone to, uh, you know, to be that uh, family child because my mother... This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. My mother wasn't there for me because she worked so much and she was trying to take care of eight kids. So I, uh, I took it upon myself to find another family. And when I was young, that's when the crib was just starting to come out. It was east side and west side crib. And I call it, I considered myself a baby crib at the time before we start branching out to all these type of different hoods and stuff. You know, and you know, it was just east side, west side cribs and the blood. You know, as I was start growing up, the name from other hoods start, my hoods start branching out with different names and stuff. And, so um, I, uh, I consider them was my family, and as I consider them as my family, they grow up to, you know, as I'm growing up, um, I'm there with them, you know, I'm, I'm considered as an uh, OG crib from my hood, one of the ones who was there when it started. Okay, what are you incarcerated for and how long is your sentence? I've been incarcerated for murder robbery, and I've been, I got life without no possibility of parole. And how long have you been incarcerated? I've been incarcerated since 1984. Okay. Do you believe, without self-incrimination, because I don't know if you're going through any appeals or anything of that nature, do you believe that you got a fair trial and a fair sentence? considering the role you played in the crime? No, I never received a fair trial because as, um, if you uh, look at the, the L.A. Times newspaper from December 20th, 1990, uh, on a Thursday, uh, it's an article about my case. It will show you that I never received a fair trial. My judge was drunk at the time going through my trial situation when I'm fighting the death penalty. And um, all the lawyers was getting extra money when we wasn't even in court. So I never received a fair trial at that time. And uh, that's what I'm trying to um, establish right now, to try to uh, put something out there to hopefully get a lawyer or an uh, innocent project or somebody to go through the paperwork and see, look at the L.A. Times and see that this young man ain't never received a fair trial by having a drunk judge that was breaking the law himself. Okay, will you be able to elaborate on the events that occurred that landed you in prison, and also, would you be able to elaborate on the district attorney's narrative? Because I know they tend to um, lie and and and, um, and demonize the individual. And also, what is your narrative? Okay, would you be able to elaborate on your own words and your own narrative on? How they were able were able to convict you, and also um, the events that occurred that landed you in prison, and also what was the district attorney, the DA's narrative, and also what is your narrative? Yeah, well, what, what, what got me in prison? It's just it's these two officers that didn't like me. First of all, ever since I was young. And as I was going through the trial, I mean, before I even started this, I got a victim for this case. This one officer had already stipulated that said before the end of 84, he was going to kill me or have me in prison for the rest of my life. 
And when I got locked up for this case, all the witnesses that had got on the stand against me stipulated that this officer had told them to say this or he gonna put them in jail or and not only that, the females, he was going to take their kids from them and put them in jail. He also had had sexual drugs and a gun for one of the witnesses and never put it in evidence. He kept it and never put it in evidence, didn't lock her up or nothing, and just used it against her to say that, um, to say that I did this case. If you, if you don't say that, I, uh, you know, me personally did this case, he going to take her to jail. Okay, um, can you briefly explain, since we're a little bit short on time, when you first went to prison and hit the main line, what was your mentality? What, what, what? Can you um, elaborate on, you know, briefly explain, because we're short on time, um, yeah. on when you first went to prison and hit the main line, what was your mentality, bro? My mentality was, uh, I didn't give a damn because I got life without, I wasn't going to never get out. I was set up, so I didn't care if they had to, had to, had to uh, the thought of me getting out. And say, you know, like once they said life without, I didn't care. You know, I knew I was incarcerated, and um, I'm, uh, they wouldn't let no life without go. Not only that, a black man from South Central Los Angeles, a gang member, and have no type of action to get out of nowhere. Okay, what would you have? Uh, Go ahead, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, and, um, and you know, I can't. I just came down from Pelican Bay. I'm still considered as GP, but uh, this is a 50-50 yard. You know, I mean, they have S and Y, they have GPs on it, but I'm still a GP. But uh, they, they. They they listen to all of us. This a new this a new program going on, you know. And uh, like uh, like I said, I'm not I'm not with it no more. Nothing like that. I gain I don't gain pay no more. I'm trying to get my freedom. I'm trying to do the right thing, you know. But uh, for this, this prison system, it's it's uh I was active doing that what I wanted to do back then, but now. Like I said, I'm, 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 I'm grown up and I, I, I realize it ain't like it used to be. So I'm doing the right thing. Okay, what would you have to say to the youngsters out here, the youth out here that's involved in gang activity or thinking about joining gangs? I would tell them that the who they consider as a, a, a big homeboy or they, uh, they friends, um, the game is not worth getting into. Who you consider as you trying to look up to find a family through the game system, it, it's not not the same. The best thing to do is find your own family and work it out with them and find someone in your family to be your role model because the game thing is not your role model. The game thing will lead you to death or in prison and a disrespect and not only that, they're not looking up to the uh, the, uh, the the problems that was going everybody going through at this time. You need a better role model than to be a gang member. Gang member is not the what um, what it used to be. Okay, um, I don't have any other questions for you, but do you have anything else to address or add? At this time, you know, uh, I'm hoping that I can reach out to somebody out there, not only to help me out with my case, but at least teach the little youngsters out there not to think, uh, not to be parents on the game member as a family thing. It's not a family thing. Your family is from your family, not a game thing. Do the right thing and, th and think about what's going on, uh, how, how you think you got a homeboy, ask some of your OG homeboy what's going on in the penitentiary. Some will give you the real self you know? I mean, it's the best thing to do is do the right thing. Okay, we're approaching the 60-second 60, 60 mark. So, yes. do you um, want to give a shout-out to your family and friends or, or 
um, to the audience or anything? Two seconds remaining. Is, is anything to that well, I nature? Lost my mother. I just lost my mother on the 16th of this month, a couple of days ago. You know, but my audience and a friend, I hope the best for them to do the right thing and think about the right thing. This is not the time to come to prison. This is not the time to go to jail. This is not the time to find a, a family member into a game. Man. Do the right thing. Think about your family and leave everybody, all these gang members talking. They're not your friends. They're not your homeboy. They're not your homegirl. They will disappoint you sooner or later. Do the right thing.